When I first tasted this amazing coconut dessert, I knew I had to get the recipe. Today joining me is Michelle Goldsmith, who is the pastry chef at Nobu 57. And she created this unusual, refreshing, frozen dessert. So um, the cake first. So you want to tell me what to do or should? Sure, okay. sure. So why don't you start by two eggs into the mixing bowl. Okay. And then we'll add a third cup of sugar. Okay. And now you have dry ingredients too, yes. of course. So uh, we're going to let this whip and come up to like three or four times in volume. Okay. So in the meantime, we can go ahead and add one and a half teaspoons of the baking powder to three quarter cup and two tablespoons of AP flour. And we'll give this a little whisk. Um, so then we'll go ahead and add a quarter cup of the grapeseed oil to a quarter cup of the coconut oil. So grapeseed oil, so no mm -hmm. butter in this cake. I actually prefer an oil-based sponge oh. Oh, over okay. a butter-based oh, okay. sponge. Oh, yeah. okay. So grapeseed oil and then a quarter of a cup plus two tablespoons of coconut milk. Coconut milk has a very, very light flavor, but there's a nuttiness to it. And then what other coconut is, is in this cake? So we also have a quarter cup of desiccated coconut, which will fold in at the Unsweetened. end. Unsweetened. Unsweetened. Okay. Yeah. So okay. We take so. it all the way down and add coconut oil. All of it? Uh, no, a little oh. by little. Okay. And then, and then go ahead with the coconut milk. I prefer at room temperature. I find that it spreads easier in the pan. We're all finished there. So now we can turn it off and... Do you use the beater to mix in, or the best thing to do would be for if you'd like to sift it over and then I'll fold it. Okay, sift. I'll do that for you. So that way we don't lose anything. So it's good to have an assistant. Always. Perfect. Good. I recommend adding the flour first before the coconut, so you can really make sure that all the flour is properly incorporated. So it's a very little bit of coconut, a quarter of a cup. Yes. Desiccated. Yeah, just to coconut. give it a little extra mm -hmm. coconut flavor. All right, and then we'll go ahead and pour it into our 10 inch pan. Now, is that spring form, buttered and lined with paper? Too? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it is. Or you don't flour it? No, 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 it's not necessary. Because oh, of all the oil, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. And make sure your oven is preheated to 350 degrees. For how many minutes? Between 20 and 25. Oh, really? Turn it once, and then mm -hmm. it's ready when we um, touch the center, and it kind of bounces back a bit. Set your timer. So we've cooled down the sponge. And then, because life is not perfect, you want to just trim this a little bit to get a nice, even, flat layer. OK, so we have a yuzu syrup here, which is basically made with sugar, water, yuzu juice, and coconut milk. Oh, good. If yuzu juice isn't available, uh, lemon works perfectly. How much will you use? It'll drink a nice amount. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay. So I'll do this for you, and then um, you're melting what over yes. there? Yes. So then we're going to put the coconut crunch on the bottom. So I'm melting down some white chocolate here in a double boiler. Okay. So you want it wet, but not soaking. Yeah. All right. So we're going to add some tahini. If you want to go ahead and add oh, the tahini. tahini. To what? To, to this? the white chocolate, yeah. Oh. That's an odd combination. So it is, <laughs> probably. So tahini is... It's a sesame paste, white yes. sesame. Okay. So we'll add a third cup of puffed rice cereal. Uh, puffed rice cereal? Yes. That you have for breakfast? Yes. Ah. And then we'll also add a quarter cup of... Desiccated coconut. Mm -hmm. And I'll go ahead and zest half a lemon. Pinch of salt. And half a zest of lemon. Great. Fragrant lemon. Yeah, fantastic. Okay, so we want to flip this over. No, yeah, perfect, there we go. And then uh, just spread this over. It's actually a lot easier to do this when the cake is cold. You just take that to the edges. So if you don't have time to make this, just buy some halva and grind it up. <laughs> <laughs> and add some cereal and it'll be fine. <laughs> mm, you finish. Sure. So put this back in the freezer. Yeah, so we okay. will go ahead and wrap this. In wrap the it with plastic, put it in the freezer for until it's frozen solid. Yeah, maybe a good hour or so. Okay. So now this is frozen solid. Yeah, it's frozen. And so we can pick it up and just put it right back in there, yeah. Okay, into your spring form pan. Mm -hmm. Soaked with the coconut milk. Right, so the coconut soak is side up and the crunch is side down. And you have an acetate here to It'll give us a really nice crisp edge oh, okay. at the end. That's your pineapple. 
Yeah, so this is roasted pineapple puree. Basically what we do is take pineapple, peel it, core it, cut into small pieces, and then add a little sugar syrup and vanilla mm. beans. Mm, so good, so good. <laughs> and then we roast in the oven for two hours. So it's about a, a little bit more than a cup. Yes. So then we'll put this back in the freezer and then once this is set up, we put the mousse on top. So now we're making a semifredo out of white chocolate? Yes, it's a coconut semifredo, yeah, oh, okay. with white chocolate. So two egg whites, mm -hmm. beaten Start with a third of a cup plus one tablespoon of sugar. Yes. While you're doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and bloom our two sheets of silver strength gelatin, cold water. Okay, so then we have a one and a half cups of coconut milk. So we'll heat that with a half a cup of desiccated coconut and then a zest of one lemon. Mm, and this is white chocolate. Yeah, for this recipe, you really want to stick with a 35%. Anything lower, we have less cocoa butter and the mousse is gonna come out a little bit softer. Just bring it to a boil. You're gonna pour that over the white chocolate? Yeah, we're gonna strain it out over the white chocolate. The gelatin is nice and soft. So that's one sheet of gelatin? It is two okay. sheets. Okay, how about that? That looks great. Okay. This is just coming to a boil. Turn it off. Add the gelatin to dissolve. And then strain this over the chocolate. Oh, you're straining the coconut out? Yeah, we just oh. took all the flavor. And then strain this very, very well. And then what we do is actually keep this leftover coconut lemon mixture and then add a little bit more coconut, a little bit of sugar, and dehydrate it, and that becomes a coconut crisp garnish. Mm. Okay, so we just very, very gently mix this from the center out. We want the gelatin to begin to work its magic powers before adding in the meringue and the cream. This into yeah. here? Yeah, go okay. ahead. And oftentimes I'll switch to the whisk in this beginning oh, part just okay. so we can avoid lumps, but I'm really folding. And then we'll go ahead and add in our whipped cream. Oh, whipped cream. Yeah, we have three very different textures, so we kind of want to balance everything out very gently. Mm, and now just that would be a delicious dessert. Yeah, this on its own, yeah. just in a cup. Mm -hmm. Just serve with some fresh fruit or something even. Just, we can just pour it right on top. Yes. So now you can see why you need a 10 inch spring form pan. And back to the freezer. Yes, okay. back to the freezer. So the dessert is out of the freezer, and look at that. <gasps> Extraordinary. And then you can decorate it however you want. You show me. Absolutely. You're so artistic. Okay, so for me, I like decoration to be super simple. So I would just do some roasted pineapple, maybe a little coconut flake. That looks good enough for me. That is so beautiful. And then the coconut. Yeah, so we have this coconut sorbet. I know you are a big fan of the coconut, so we'll go ahead and scoop that up. That is spectacular. And it certainly is one masterpiece that shows off coconut in all its tropical glory. Thank you very much, Michelle, for, for having me. taking time out of your busy kitchen schedule to come and show us how to create this magnificent dessert. And I'm going to eat it myself. Please. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.